And the other thing you mentioned, is, as far as teams are concerned, you have teams in the line organization, you build up a longstanding relationship. But I think the relationship in in a precarious situation is just more intense, uh, even if it's over a shorter period of time. That, that's very yeah. true. Yeah. So what happened uh, after Peru? After Peru, there was this interim period. I came back to Italy and I was working for the PMO in, in Italy. We had a very big PMO, very well-structured PMO mm -hmm. in Nokia Networks. I didn't know that at the time. I thought that's how PMOs yeah. are, right? Later, I discovered that, no, no. <laughs> now, 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 as your function as a, as a consultant, you right, realize exactly. that exactly. it's not a it, given. It, no, it's absolutely not a yeah. given. But in fact, that's very, very true, right? While I was in Nokia, I got the, the, the honor, the chance to get to know one organization all the way down yeah. into its detail, right? Now, as a consultant and also as a trainer, I have the pleasure to see many yes. companies very superficial. I love that too. Right? So there's, there's sometimes a little bit more in depth, depending if depending so, on the contract. It, well, yeah. We get pulled in every yeah. once in a while. Sure. But, yeah, yeah. but it's very different. Yeah, it's different to actually being yeah, yeah. part of the team for yeah, ten years. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. And uh, and so anyway, both these views are very interesting. So let me ask you a question in the PMO. If if uh, if you were, well, I'm not going to ask you what level of maturity they were they were in, but but uh, I'm I'm assuming it was a regional project management office. It was the Mediterranean. Oh, uh, sorry, the, the it, south so south like regional, Europe, regional. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was respond. It was a PMO that was doing a lot of things. So at the time, while I was there, I was working with the procurement. So essentially, I was in the PMO, but I was responsible for renegotiating so contracts. So legal aspects, the claim aspects. Mainly yeah, money aspects. Money yeah. aspects. Yeah. But I, I'm assuming you guys did program management. Did you guys do portfolio management as well? We were very strongly in touch with portfolio management. Yeah. Absolutely. But so, I'm sure you did. You had, what, did you have sub-portfolios or wallets they're sometimes called? No. no well, okay. At least we didn't call them okay. like that. What we had was a very strict alignment between yeah. the account, which yeah. managed the portfolio, yeah. and uh, the actual rollout that is what we Let me ask do. you another question. Did, did your... Did you have, um, did you have a sponsor for the PMO? Did you have an accountable executive to put it in the different words? We had the head of the PMO. Is that okay. what you mean? No, but who did who did he or she report to? The, okay, so the PMO in Nokia Networks, two thousand five or yeah. whenever that was, I have no idea what it is now. Yeah, was structured like this: that you had regional PMOs. Yeah. And you had a PMO manager, yeah. which was called project management's head of project yeah. management services. Yeah. And uh, the head of project management services had a global referent that was the global head of project management services who was part of uh, uh, services, so okay. of network implementation. I'm going to jump ahead. When I consult PMOs and for large global companies, I have this kind of, we say in German, salop. Very, very direct way of saying it. I always ask the PMOs, who's your sponsor? And they always look at me like, what are you talking about? And then, who's your sponsor? No, projects have sponsors. Says, no, so do portfolios and programs. Everybody. Who's, who's, who's your sponsor? And he goes, what do you mean? I said, who do you report to? Who's your accountable executive? And they go, we don't know. Who do you serve? Yeah, who do you serve? Who, yeah. I was like, we don't know. Bob oh, we serve a lot. Of course you serve a lot, but, but who's, who covers your ass? Yeah. So and this is what I tell them. I said, you should have a sponsor, and that sponsor should be God. Or the devil? No, no a god. <laughs> well, maybe sometimes a god, a uh, a uh, a saint, uh, a, a, a disciple. But it has to be either a god or a demigod. And they always look at me and they laugh and they say, "What do you mean?" I said, "Because due to the fact that PMOs don't have the same power as other divisions or or departments have, the only way that you can have relevance and have impact on an organization if you're reporting to a fairly high high level. I always say you have to be kind of the the whisper, the executive whisper, 